Hey, let's start out the weekend with some good happy do uh, by Eddie Cooley, Priscilla. This is a radio station copy from 1960 and the same song from 56, uh, 10 inch 78. Back when it was Eddie Cooley and the Dimples, it's Scoot Shuffling, Big Blackman, Floor Hop and Doo Wop here. And we got a lot of blues called the Doctor here with Dr. Isaiah Ross. Uh, Delta Blues from 65, beautiful mint copy, ultrasonically cleaned, of course. And Roots of the Blues, some more Delta Blues from 1960. And Robert Cray's uh, 1986 classic. And there he is, Cray with Collins and Copeland. Showdown. This Texas Blues and B.B. King and we got a whole bunch of rock stuff including early Neil Young from 69 and Mitch Ryder from the late days of the 80s and a great um, thing that came out in the UK not too long ago anime and manga synth pop soundtracks from 1984 and 1990 and it sounds just like it sounds literally and uh, this is an excellent import uh, you're going to get it here nowhere else uh, Simone from Egypt uh, she was just terrific it's cosmic Egyptian deep house um, it's a beautiful blend of house and synth pop from the late 80s, including Mebsuda, the title uh, main track. It's an Arabic synth pop cover of Suzanne Vega's Tom's Diner, and you could just play it all night long. And uh, there's a bonus beats chant on here called Rekka, composed by Hamid El Sha'eri, and it is a terrific dance uh, record. Uh, got a lot of soul in here and some rock and soundtracks, etc. All this stuff we're restocking. Actually, a lot more than we're putting on here. We've got a pile to the right of me just as big as this. Uh, Jebra Haslam, we're especially proud to have this because I know this is the only place you're going to get this in Ohio. Alina Ferretti uh, is her real name. This is a 12-inch mini album just recently reissued. It's massive Italo disco with an 80s film vibe, chain jumping, stable drive, morning mix, play assortment. And uh, besides this, Deborah Haslam uh, ID she went by on this mini album. I know she went by tons of other names on records, including Olivia, Valentina, Vanity, Veronique, Barbie, Apple even. And in the early aughts, she was in tons of these Eurobeat CD comps, which are now becoming super collectible. So, uh, total cred here, but Let Me Trouble is a definite classic, and there's some great versions here, as well as the seven and a half minute tracking Hot Stuff, which is Hot Stuff indeed, and Cat Records, classic turn of the 90s techno here with Confidential, Jam the Frequency, and some bleeping bass uh, from Premier Fantasy, uh, Jet Black at Birth. This is a German import, uh, brand new, 12 inch, uh, killer stuff here. Uh, this is this, Cold End, the only album they ever put out. This is just recently reissued, it's hard German synth pop from 87. Metropolitan Jungle. Uh, basically a project for the late uh, great Katrin Kunz uh, on the Proxima label, which is uh, done by DJs, of course, and they do it right, but there she is on the cover, and she did the cover art, but... Um Excellent, excellent hard synth record indeed. And Ray Conniff, uh, groovy orange soft from that early 70s uh, cool sound era. David Carroll there for some space age prop from 1959 and previous owners. Uh, name and address and phone numbers so you can do some fun research there. Bo Diddley, uh, mono LP from 66. And we're putting out some really excellent Christmas as usual uh, here for your singer sewing machine. Uh, friends and family there from 63 and the Dean Martin Christmas album, which is uh, kind of scarce. And from 60. Felix Slatkin, some really great now sound, of course, heavy on the great violin, and Harry and Lena, of course, soundtrack from 70, love the Fabergé tie-in, and there's Mr. Belafonte himself, a lot of photos from the show, and George Seagal, uh, it's some Dixieland stuff from the late 60s, and Mirror Image, they were Pickwick's house band, uh, great lounge stuff, if you've been in here, you've seen a lot of their stuff, like Sounds Like the Eagles, Sounds Like Linda Ronstadt, etc., this has got a lot of hits on here, and of course, they did that 1979 Disco Noel record. A lot of great stuff here. Uh, everyone should have a copy. Hollywood Soundstage Orchestra. Instrumental Lively Lush Luxuria Mint Condition there. And uh, Waldo Pepper here. Uh, this is uh, from 75 Robert Redford. Uh, the um there was a restaurant out in Kitab Island, Vacation Land, uh, named after this. It's closed now, but I guess it was definitely great, including uh, Nate's that came before it. Julie London from 1960. She sadly passed away in 2000, but this has got a lot of great tracks, including uh, Cry Me River, which is one of her uh, classics there, signature tracks. And, of course, we've got a big, heavy stock up of uh, Herb Alpert, including this, uh, Sears' Hi-Fi Department, and Standing Room Only, which will probably happen uh, Sunday when Mr. Alpert comes in town, along with... With, uh, they're going to have a lot of good uh, sounds from uh, Brazil 66 as well. Jody Watley, uh, synth pop, funk heavy there. Instant replay. This is a comedy record. Tom Patchett, a decade later, would come up with Alf on TV and Jay Tarps's and Doug Kershaw, Spanish Moss. This is a true Cajun fiddle. Obscure record from 1970. And Judy Lynn, back when the 60s, when country had a little bit of uh, glamour, glitter, and uh, sequins. 
And uh, Hank Williams, uh, ultrasonically clean, mint copy. We're going to match that price there. And Frankie Carl, of course, Honolulu Honky Tonk. Love that big... Uh, Japanese uh, float there. This is kind of a scarce record. And speaking of scarce, Fajardo, this is uh, really good Cuban stuff. It's uncommon. A lot of dance stuff there. Descanga, Salsa, Son, Charanga, Merchande, everything is on there. And uh, speaking of which, it's uh, Colombian Cumbia. Indeed, lots of artists on here. I think there's about seven different artists, but uh, this is a pretty rare record. And uh, Marco Calderoni, uh, beautiful Deep House from way back when. Back when Deep House was new, 1991. It's a rarity. It's remastered. I uh, love the uh, vintage maps on here. Petros Visconti on the left, uh, Borgian 15th century in the middle, and Fra Moro from the 1450s on the right. And uh, there he is there, but uh, a lot of killer tracks here. If you're into dance music, uh, this is where you want to go. And uh, speaking of which, my definition of techno house is a shrimp. Uh, the late great Ebby there. Uh, this just came out. Ambient House, two 12 inches there. Susuma Yokota left uh, the world too soon, but uh, this has basically got all the tracks that were out on Space Teddy. It's the Space Teddy Collection, uh, classic techno from 1994. All this and more at the current year, 5580 Ridge. We do ship. We're here Friday, Saturday, 11 to 6, so come on out and pick some of these up. <laughs> 